Eritrea on the shore of the Red Sea. Eritrea was colonized by Italy in the late 1880s. In 1935, Mussolini used Eritrea as a base when his troops marched on Ethiopia to the south. Ethiopia fell to Italy, uniting Ethiopia and Eritrea for the first time. In 1941, British troops defeated the Italians and reinstalled Haile Selassie on the throne of Ethiopia. But no freedom was given to Eritrea, which remained under the control of the British. At the end of the Second World War, the United Nations started talking about what was to be done with Italy's former colonies in Africa. In 1952, the United Nations decided that Eritrea should be joined to Ethiopia in a federation although Eritrea would be allowed to keep its own flag, its own parliament, and its own judicial system. The United States supported Haile Selassie and wanted to make use of Eritrea's strategic location on the Red Sea. So, the United Nations voted for the federation scheme. In 1962, Haile Selassie unilaterally decreed Eritrea a province of Ethiopia. This against the will of the United Nations. The United States used Eritrea for its own military purposes. Outside Asmara, the Eritrean capital, the Americans built a Cagnu communications base. This base played quite an important role during the Seven Day War in the Middle East in 1967 and during the Vietnam War. In 1974, Haile Selassie was overthrown and a military regime called the Derg took over Ethiopia. The Derg, led by Mengistu Haile Mariam, has continued Haile Selassie's policies towards Eritrea, although now with military support from the Soviet Union and Cuba. What is life like in Eritrea today? This is what life has become after more than 20 years of war.
Famine, war, towns and villages laid to ruin. This is the picture we often get of Eritrea, and even of Africa. And it is a part of life for Eritrea's three to four million people. But there's another part, just as vital, the struggle for independence. The Eritrean Liberation Front, ELF, was formed in 1961. The movement now controls large areas of rural country in Eritrea and is in the process of putting together a parallel society. This is the militia, a sort of home guard found all over Eritrea. The militia is made up of farmers who defend their villages until the Liberation Front troops arrive. Thirteen men using a few ancient rifles began the armed fight in 1961. Today, everyone is involved. People from towns and villages are forced to flee into the open countryside. Many are given protection by the liberation movement, and some are settled in newly built villages called Tahadiso. Tahadiso dwellers are housed in the safest areas that can be found. Traveling to these places often takes a long time and can be dangerous. Traveling is done at night to avoid Ethiopian bombers. This family is to rest up for a few days in the home of a member of the ELF's women's organization. Come <laughs> 
ካቡ ሽዑኡ ፀሐምሳ አርብሳ ሽድሽን ፍኑ ንግዛና መጽኢና መስከን ነጊና ካቡ ደሓር ቀብር ሻ መጽያትና ድማ ኻአ ኾቡ ድማ ትሪልኽ ፍንደ ሽክር ፍንደ ድማ ባልፍ ኻአ ሓዲፍና ይዩ ካቡ ኻጥር ኾቡ ሲሙና ፍንደ ትሽክርና ስጋ ለይ ለጊና መስከን ነው ስቀለ ወእና ደሓና ሰላ ሓርነት ትሪያት ለልኽ መቃላ ኸን ተፈጠረና እንና መስከን ነው ኾቡ ሳጂ ድማ ትሪልኽ ፍንዲ ኪየ ለልኽ ዓደ ኾም ጌሩ ምህንድ ደሓን ቋለ ደሓን ሰላም አትኺ more than a million homeless people in Eritrea. They're totally dependent on the liberation movement for survival. The movement's aim is to make Eritrea self-sufficient, even in wartime. At this point, however, humanitarian aid from abroad is still vital if people are to be kept alive. The liberation movement works together with the Eritrean Red Cross and Red Crescent. The Red Crescent is the Islamic equivalent of the Red Cross. Relief food and clothing are sent out to people all over the country. In the Tahadiso villages, people are starting again from scratch and need literally everything. They're given housing, pots and pans, tea and clothes, flour, red lentils and sugar. In this village alone, there are 5,000 people. Here, as elsewhere in areas liberated from the Ethiopians, Eritreans are being confronted with new ideas and new ways of living, and even of thinking. The women in this village have started a women's cooperative association to help with providing goods and services. It looks like a demonstration, but it isn't. These women are on their way to join the men to celebrate Liberation Army Day. Today, homage is paid to those killed during the 20-year-old struggle for independence. It's nice to have a party for a change. The women work hard. The women's organization feels that its most important task is simply getting in touch with women all over Eritrea. But there are a lot of problems, getting through to the veiled nomadic women, for example, and they're among the most victimized. These women may never show their faces. They can only leave their houses if they're with their husbands. The young girls among them are circumcised. This means that their clitoris and labia are cut away. Another custom involves cutting away the velum at the back of the throat if a person is suffering from severe throat trouble. بزاف تنايم تقدسنا تاع تنايم بزاف تمرتات وهاربه 
ናይ መኸንሻብን ዓንቀር ምውራጽን ብዚያ ደኸመን እንደበር እንደብራና ለንኸይት ዋላ ከብዙሕ ግዜ ተኸታቲ ለም ሕጅ ሰሚዖ ማይ ቆርጾ ዳ ምርት ነገር ቁሩብ በቁሩብ እንዳተረፈ ነኸይት ይሕና ተስፋ ንገብሮ ትም ናይ ትምርት ጉዳኸመን ሕጅ ኣይሰምዑ ኒሚልና ናይ መቁራጽ ትምርት ያ የገበርናን ትምርት ይቕጽሊ ብዚያ ዳ ጉዳት ከምዘሎ ጓሲ ተኸንሽባ እንተ ዓንተ ሓደ ገኸም ጽኸል ኣይ ተኸንሸቱን ከመን እንታይ ጥሞይ እንታይ ጉዳት ዝውን ገልጸለይ ወስነ ዓንቀር ምቁራጽ ከመን ጣንቀር ንገዛር ሳንታይ ከምንታይ ተከለሃሉ እንታይ ንገዛር ሳይና ናይ መብራህ ጉዳ ነካይደይ ኣገለ ገለ ወታታቱን ጽቦጽ ኢትናምት ከተማታት ገለ ዝራይ ቁርፍ ጭራ ዘሎ ናኡሶም ዳ ሰምዑና ኸዱ ቶም ዘይፈልጡን ዘይሰምዑ ከመን ቁርፍ ካፍቲ ኦም ዳበሉ ኸዱ ኽልም ናኑን ናኡወተሉን ገለ ገለ ንጣታቱን ኣሎ ጉላታት ናብነ ሕጃ ብዝባሕኩም ንንቀሳሰሉ ኸለና ብንንቀሳስ ጥፍኹም ወኸማን ናውሽተ ዝባሕኩም ነንገልገሉ ዘለና ስራሓት ብዙሕ ተሕስተ የለና ይመሰርሕ ጉላታት ኣሎ ግን ካፍቲ ዘሎ ኣዋጽኢና ብስካል ናውጠን ንጻሪና ኸሞት ንተናስ ንምድሓን ኹነቲ ቆልዓን ሰበይቲ ኸሞት ንምድሓን ብዘሎ ወሕት ንጥቀሚና ማልት ኣራሪኻን ካፍትን ካፍትን ተጓይኻ ትሰርሕ ግን ዘሎ ጉላታት ብዙሕ ናይ ሕርስ ወሕት የለን ነቲ ብርት ዝበለ ነገራት ከመን ወልሓንቲ ካብ ምሕላፍ ሓሊፍና ንገብሮ ነገራት ይለ ግን ብዝካ ለና ወጣን ንፈተኒና ስለዚ ጉላታት ታሎ ናይ ወቕሓት ናይ ሕርሲ ስካብ ክንዚ ኣይኩን ኮሞን ብናይ መግቢ ጉላታት ከመን ብናቶም ትሕሶ ጉላታ ሎ ናይ መግቢ ስለም ተኸፍ ከተማ ጥራስ ለጽበይ ወኸማን ንሕናውን ባዕልና ነተን ኣለን ዘለና ባዕልና ንምኽን ኣለን ትሕሰና ስካብ ክንዚ ተሕሰለ ዝኾነ ገነ ኢመላይ ናይ መግብን ብናይ መሳርሕ ጉዳይ ብዝክ ተሽፍ ጉዳታት አለ ኣባላት ንሓፋሽ ውድዋት ኮሙን ቡጻት ኣባላት ዕድማትናን ሓፋሽ ዝምናን ንዛ ታሪኻዊት መዓት እዚያ ኣብ ነጻ ድሞጽ መሪ ተጋር ለሓረፍ ኤርትራ ሰራዊትናን ሓፋሽ ዝምናን ተሓቓቒፍና ንውዕለላ መዓቲ እንዳ ሞጎስኩ ደቂ ኣንስቲዮ ኤርትራ ከም ኣካል ናይ ተዕብረት ሰብ እቲ መግዛቲ ከሳቀየን ርከብ ኮሙን እቲ ዝተፈለ ወጻ ተባዓታ ወጻ ጸጸቱን ነቲ ናተን መሰላት ንኸይሕለወለን ዝገብር ቃልስታቱን ምስቲ ቃልስና ይትሕዝብ ኤርትራዝ ተተሓዘ ብመሆኑ ንዑን ከቃለሳ ዝያዳ ንድርብ ጭቆናናተን ቃለ ሳሉ ዝኸለ ዓሙ ኸጥሪያ ግድነት ይገብሮ ስለዚ ቃልሲ ጓን ስቴት ኤርትራ ኣብቲ ሃገራዊ ኮሙን ድርባው ጻጣታት ብተወሰኸነቲ ጾታው ጻጣታት ንምር ንምቅላል ዝተወደበ ዝተጠርነፈ ቃልስታት ከተካይት ትግደ The women's organization takes care of orphan children too as well as the children of soldiers Ethiopian bombing raids make life hard for the children. This camp has 200 children and has had to move several times because of heavy bombing. قدم حجوي زما دبر زي بنفرتي تجبدو كاب عسران شمنت زي وحدو قلعوت تسويهم هم دما قله قله قديتها
this group of singers and dancers is from the Hadarib, an ethnic minority from Western Eritrea. Here, the music and dancing are by the Eritrean Liberation Front's National Music and Theatre Troupe. The members of the troupe are drawn from all the nine different ethnic groups in Eritrea. The troupe sees its work as an important factor in keeping down tribal rivalry and conflicts between Christians and Muslims. A marketplace in the highlands. The troupe is on a tour of the countryside, making visits to villages and towns along the way. players are wearing the Liberation Army uniform and are armed. A generator on the back of a truck provides the electric current for their amplifiers and instruments. Besides the Liberation radio and stenciled news sheets, the music troupe is regarded as the movement's most important means of spreading information. The movement's national music and theatre troupe performers aren't the only ones doing the singing and dancing. The Liberation Army has its own band and dancers to entertain the soldiers. The words of their songs are always about some current situation. In this case, the song is about the conflict between the ELF and the other main liberation movement in Eritrea, the EPLF. The United Movement split in 1970, making the struggle for independence both more complicated and longer. The ELF is the oldest and the largest of the independence movements. Armed opposition has been going on since 1961. The Eritrean people's identity was recognized by the United Nations in 1952, but one of Africa's lengthiest wars of independence still goes on. Yeah. 
Eritrea's strategically important position on the Red Sea means that the Ethiopian regime will go to almost any lengths to get control of the country. The Ethiopian regime tries to win support among its troops by claiming that Eritrea is being invaded by Arabs. ያው <laughs> food transport to a liberated town. At dusk, people return to the town. Shops reopen, and the men drink their evening tea at the shop on the square. The simple bomb shelter by the square is empty during the day, since everyone simply leaves town when a bomb attack is likely. But a few kilometers outside of town, life goes on almost as normal. Hidden by the dense trees, thousands of people can gather for market days arranged by the liberation movement every week. <laughs> This land used to belong to an Italian plantation owner. The land has now been parceled out and is farmed by a cooperative. Through land reforms worked out by the liberation movement, people have been given equal access to land, which is then farmed either by cooperatives or by individuals. <laughs> ሐደ <laughs> حجي كل عند كنستيو زن مامن ترايدن زنبرا تمعارين مريت رخيبا بنفس حاضر من سيات وين زينو بروم كلهم بنفسهم حاضرهم مريت رخيبا بزن نجر زي كل لط سراي هاجرنا بزي سلم عرنا ترخبه بحيل وات السيات قمت
But despite land reform, famine is never very far away. For this reason, all units of the Liberation Forces run their own small-scale farms. Each battalion, each brigade and each administrative unit has its own sweet corn and vegetable patch. The majority of Eritreans are illiterate. Because of this, the liberation movement has started a large number of schools, providing both elementary and advanced courses. Teaching goes on everywhere, in the early morning and in the evenings. The few schools that existed during Ethiopian rule taught in Amarinja, an Ethiopian language. Today, Eritrean languages are used. Higher classes are also taught in English. But there's a shortage of teaching aids and books. The school books that are used are printed in Eritrea. They're very simple and are often simply stenciled sheets bound together. delicate eye operation in a field hospital. Complicated cases can be taken care of at the general hospital, but most patients are treated out in the country. The idea is to bring medical care to all Eritreans. Simple clinics and traveling medics are to be found everywhere throughout the countryside. There's not much medicine and few instruments, and the job is made that much harder since clinics and hospitals are also bomb targets. Kabo Halifna had a bota quayevlan, can we not heal? Well, I'll be tea, Macalai Hospital in Soraho, Silebzoh, Neferti, Zoh Sile de Sariana, Cabota, Nabota, Henning Casas, Neri, Zidal and Abota win Haji, Hadish Botamasina, Helena, House Botas win. Hadri, 
አሙሉ ህዝብ ኤርትራ ዘወረደ ሽግሪው ህዝብ ኤርትራውን ካፕቲ ዘሎ ሽግራት ሐራ ነኾጽ መንቲ መሰሉን ሐርነቱን ናጽነቱን ኢሉ ዝጀመሮ ቃልስ ዳይምበር ፈታው ጊኮይኑ አይኮነን ቃልሱን ካብዚ ሽግራት እዚ ሐራ ነኾጽ ናጻ ነኾጽ በማለት ክሳብ ሕጂ قال سو خكاي ديركم نحنا ون انتخنا كم سراوي تحرنت ايرترا موغاتي مسواتنت كم زولو نا فلتنا من انت حزب ايرترا قال سنا خنكاي ديركم ازي حف بحفشو اغاتي مزولو شغرات وي زغات مزولو شغرات حزب ايرترا مو بي بعداو مغزاتي نتي زلو قالسي يحنونون بزياده يا بارات عند امبر ندحريت كوغوتو وي خوغوتو ايكلن اس لو زخنا يقا قالسي حزب ايرترا كعوت ناي قدني نبلو